Hi, I'm Roshan Kanesan and this is Ringgit Bites. Do you want 30% returns per annum with no risk? The catch? You've got to tell me right now and commit. Well, if you said yes, then this is the episode for you. Appealing to our desire for more or the fear of missing out are tactics scammers use to fool us out of our money. And with how sophisticated scams have become, it can be difficult to tell what's real and what's a scam. So today we sit down with Lynette Lee, CEO of the Financial Planning Association of Malaysia to discuss scams and how to spot them. It's very simple. First and foremost, a bank or a, a company that you don't know or you know but you have no connection with calls you out of the blue. That's one. Second thing is the caller asks you for personal information which you should not reveal. For example, your PIN number, your CVV, your tag, especially IC also because identity theft, they want your IC. And then the other thing that you want to look at is I returns with very little risk. It's the other way around. Pressure selling is one of them. What they do is, they give you a time frame, they tell you that uh, you have to do it by a certain time. They work on your emotions, like they tell you, oh, imagine if you can do this investment, your family will be so proud of you. Uh, the last technique that they would use to, uh, as a scam, to pretend to be coming from a company and sending you uh, letters saying that they will offer you a lot of return for your cooperation. Nigerian scams that you see, but taken to the next level. The most important thing when you think you're being scammed, disconnect, don't deal with them. Second thing is collect your thoughts, call a bank or the organization that has uh, uh, contacted you to make sure they are genuine. Don't call the number they give you because those are most likely fake if they are scammers. And then of course, the third thing is gather information that you need to know whatever evidence that you have and run to make a police report. One is panicking. And when the panic, it leads to the second mistake of giving out information indiscriminately. And the third thing is for them to start transferring money. Do not part with your money easily. Be very, very careful with your money. Securities Commission for Capital Markets, Bank Negara for Money Scams, Commercial Scams, you can go to Police Diraja Malaysia, Property Scams, you can go to uh, Board of Valuers and Appraisers, MIEA, International, uh, especially in, in regards to investment, go to IOSCO's uh, alert list, uh, International Organisation of Securities Commission Organisations. Do you have any money or personal finance questions? Drop them down in the comments below or email us over at ringgit at bfm.my.